So most people are looking for some kind of dental plan to go along with their Medicare supplement plan, at least a decent dental plan. And one of the things that I've found over the last 15 plus years is that it's almost impossible to find a dental plan where people are going to call you and say, this was a fantastic plan. I love it. I hope I stay on this plan forever. And when it comes to what you see on the screen, the plan G and the plan N, um, we can find that. Hey, this, this is the plan. That This is a great company. This is a, a, a great premium. And and uh, the hospital coverage and the, and the specialist coverage and surgeries, MRIs, everything is covered. This is fantastic. And then when people get on those plans, they absolutely love them. But when it comes to, okay, I got my Medicare supplement plan, and now I have my prescription drug plan that I like, the next thing is dental vision and hearing. And I hear the same complaints over and over and over again. And it's really, really hard because we can only do so much with dental. But I do have a solution. Where there's a problem, there's always some kind of a solution. It might not be perfect, but I'm going to get into what I have found over the last couple of weeks. And I've been doing this for so long, and actually, I really like this solution. So stay tuned with me. But anyhow, um, most people that get a dental plan, it's going to cost them $50 a month. So $600 a year, and the maximum that they can spend on uh, crowns or fillings or whatever it is, could be $1,000, $2,000, could be $5,000, but sometimes it's even higher than $50 a month. So I asked some of my clients, what, what do you use, what do you do? And one of my clients told me that their daughter was a dental hygienist and that they used to go to the school where she was training. And I guess it's a two-year program. So just... As much as I teach people about Medicare, I also listen to my clients and try to learn as much as I can, research it, and then tell my other clients about it. I mean, it's kind of a give and take. And so I did my research, basically, not research, but I called up five dental hygienist schools around me. Uh, most of them, you have to leave a message. It's kind of weird. No one answered the phone uh, on any of them. But I left a message, and two of them called me back. One called me back. And I think it was two Thursdays ago, let's say, and said, can you come in on Monday, 9 a.m.? I said, absolutely. Now, I hadn't been to the dentist in six years. The main reason is because I moved and I wanted to switch dentists. And then they're like, oh, we have to take x-rays. I mean, they gave me such a headache. And I, I'm like, look, I don't have dental insurance. And I've never had a cavity. I just want a cleaning. And then it, I said, forget it. I'm not going back to the dentist. In any case, it, it had been six years. So I thought, oh man, this is pretty bad. You know, I, I'm just like everybody else. I, I had eat my cookies, I drink too much coffee, all this different stuff. So I said, hopefully I don't, you know, there's nothing really wrong with me. In any case, I went in there um, and it was absolutely fantastic, the way that they treated me. Now, there was two dental hygienists in training that worked on me. They took panoramic um, x-rays. They took bite wing x-rays. I mean, they, they did everything. Cleaning, deep cleaning. Um, I mean, all, all of what you would get for, I mean, they did six hours worth of work. Turns out I, don't ha I still don't have any cavities. So six hours without any, you know, no cavities, no fillings, nothing. This is how, of a, how much of a deep dive that they went into. And they were absolutely fantastic. The two... Uh, young ladies that worked on me were great. They had a dent, an actual dental hygienist, which was their manager that would come over every 15 minutes and say, okay, let me check what you did. Okay, you know, you want to scrape this a little bit more or do that. And then she would leave, come back another 15 minutes later. And then a dentist would come over at the end and check out, you know, okay, what did you do? And let me see this and let me see the x-rays. I mean, it was great. I went in twice. So, um, Today, I actually went in for the second time and they did the, you know, the fluoride and the whatever else they do. I mean, they, they just did everything. It cost me $45 for both, you know, that's it, $45. As I was there, you know, I, I was talking with um, not only these, these two young ladies, but also the manager. And I was telling them what I did. And I said, you know, one of my clients told me about this and they said, listen, you need to spread the word. 
uh, to your clients? And I said, well, you know, I work in 48 states. Um, so, you know, it wouldn't be spreading the word for your school specifically unless people lived around here. Uh, but I think it's pretty neat that people can come in and get this done for $45. And they said, yeah, the next time you come in, it's only 30. Same thing, whatever you, you need. But, but I said, okay, so here I am. I've never had any cavities. Uh, I'm probably pretty, even though I haven't been here in six years to a dentist and you had to, you know, do a lot of uh, things to me uh, as far as cleanings and so forth. What if I had a root canal? What if I had something major? And they said, well, the best part about it is we recommend you to another place, uh, almost like the same same type of uh, thing. Um, they have like big universities that actually have dental schools there that they need patients uh, because this was a community college. So the next next step up would be like a, like a dental school or something. These people need people. These trainees need people to work on. And so I thought this was fantastic. I, I, I thought, you know what, I'm going to tell all my clients, you know, and some of them are going to be like, nah, I'd rather go to a regular dentist, but some are not going to care and they're going to save a ton of money. And I think that this was the best place that I have ever been to. Um, hopefully my uncle never will watch this video because he's actually a dentist, but I never went to him because we live in two different states far away. So I don't think he'd mind, but this was the most fantastic uh, dentistry, I guess you would you would you would say, because they were so thorough with everything that they did, because it was a school, and they said come back every six months and pre please tell your friends, your family, whoever. And so here I am telling people. Now most people would say with Medicare, oh I don't you know I'm not really sure. But here's the thing: you're going to be paying between ten and fifty dollars a month, and ten dollars a month is going to get you next to nothing. And you're going to be searching for dentists and they're going to drop it. And even $50 a month, you a dentist might take it, but then they only pay up to $2,000 total. So you're paying $600 a year for two grand if you need it. Uh, and then on top of that, there's just co-pays and everything. It's a disaster. So I just wanted to tell people about this. If someone was to say, you're calling this a dental solution for people on Medicare, I would say yes, absolutely. Because uh, you can get your med sup plan, you can get your prescription Part D plan from the government, and dental and vision and hearing, especially dental, you're on your own basically when you get a med sup. It's like, you know, I've been trying to find a solution for people that I've been proud of for a long time. And this I can say that I'm proud. If, if people lived around me, I would tell them, go, go here. This is who you see, this is who you talk to. Believe me, you will be happy. I haven't been able to say that about any dental plans. I've been able to say this one's pretty good. Um, there's a couple companies that are out there that are that are decent plans, but for the most part, it's really tough to deal with. So check out some of my other videos if you haven't seen any of my videos before, because I go dive I dive into Medicare and the med sub plans deeply. But if you're just looking at dental, I would look into the dental hygienist schools around you. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll see you at the next one.